Whew. So I want to, I want to express <laughs> a little bit more. Uh, much more relaxed now. And I don't have a lot of time because I am driving home to have dinner. But I, I, I feel a desire. I feel a desire to speak, to express this. And that's what I do. That, see, that's, that's what this is. I know, well, Fair. anybody can feel any type of way about it. And that's totally fine. Um, this is like a, this is like a diary to me. I want, I want to be publicly, visibly expressing things that are very personal and that, that, that people maybe just don't talk about because they're afraid of how it's going to look. And that includes expressions of strong emotion and especially strong emotion when I am aware there's other stuff mixed in. When I, when I know ego is there because I want to integrate that. I don't want to shame having an ego. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to shame egoic reaction. I want to be aware of it, but I don't want to hide it away and, and make it invisible. I want it to be visible. I want it to be seen. And I know that oftentimes it's a blend of things. You know, there's genuine emotion. There, there's, there's the way I really feel. And then there's the over the top egoic reaction. And then there, there's other stuff too. There's repressed emotion from other times, other situations filtering in there. And I want all of it to be included and expressed and none of it to be put away in a corner and told nobody gets to see you but me you know I I don't want to pretend that I'm perfect and that I am this composed monk like being I'm not Eckhart Tolle I don't know what <laughs> you know I, I'm not a Zen master that's not what I'm trying to be I want to just be me which is a full total being human and being both yes the being is my essence the human is the the shape on top and is not the permanent piece the being is the permanent piece but i'm here to be both i'm here in this life experience to be a human being to experience incarnation to experience ego to experience all of this stuff if i wanted to stay permanently affixed in the place of just knowing the oneness of all and and all of that the peace and well-being and my continuity and eternity if i wanted only that then i would have stayed non-physical i wouldn't have come here i wouldn't have incarnated into this plane i'm here to have an experience the experience of duality the experience of separation the experience of ego to be a blended being to be all of myself that includes this anyway the anger that i had experienced and there, there's there's still there's feeling there's still all kinds of feelings but i finally got to have a chance to have a conversation an actual conversation with my superior today a face-to-face -face conversation and not just some words through text of somebody else saying something and essentially just this he said she said I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this kind of thing and I'm grateful that I had space to experience the full re emotional response that I did because I knew, I knew as it was happening that there were layers to it. There's a component that is me and mine. There's a component that is e ego and reaction. And, and I totally know that was there, but there was something else too. There's a bigger piece to that because I also know that it's ego that says you're overreacting. It's ego that shames 
and tries to squash and repress. And there was something to that. Ego saying, you're making too big a deal out of this. And this other piece that goes, I'm feeling. I am feeling a thing. That's not bad. That doesn't have to be a big, just because it's intense and it looks big doesn't mean it is a big deal. It's a strong feeling. And I'm here to experience strong feeling. There's nothing wrong with that. And I wanted that full expression to come through. I wanted all of that anger, much of which I know was repressed, old stuff. I, I was fully aware that it felt like what was coming through was huge, was maybe bigger than the situation called for, but it didn't matter. That kind of judgment was irrelevant. Too little, too much. Who gives a fuck? This is what is. This is what's taking place. This is what's coming through me. And I want to honor that it's coming through me. And I wanted to honor it and let it fully express as an end in itself, an end in itself, but also so that I could clarify what is it that I really feel and how do I want to represent myself in this, this situation moving forward so that I can have a clear communication when it, when it comes to that. I can have a clear, composed communication where I am not reacting, but I am responding and I'm taking that reaction into consideration as I am responding. I'm not writing it off and I'm acknowledging it, I'm including it, I'm accepting it. And one of the things I got to talk about with my superior was that I understand the role that ego plays in these types of situations. And I understand that when anybody sees something or hears something or is told something that they feel offends them, ego is the first thing to speak up. And I know that's true for me. I know that's true for other people. And I'm holding that in mind in this. But we had a really good conversation and we got to talk about deeper things than, than the surface level of somebody has a problem with you. I, I got to express myself, clearly. I, I got to express, you know, that I understand we live in a society that is really afraid of intimacy and really afraid of physical intimacy and has all kinds of judgments about that and I understand that that's where a lot of people are coming from and that mindset has been baked into a lot of things especially certainly I mean we're a capitalist society removed from emotion so of course a capitalist enterprise like a business we're told is the last place that you should experience emotion and he he agreed that that sounded crazy he was telling me about hr stuff and that basically it says yeah there should be no personal life uh expressed within the business space that emotion should be left behind basically you leave yourself at the door <laughs> you leave your human being at the door and you you just are a robot and you don't have emotion and you don't express emotion and that's that's what the workplace is intended to be and without you know, I, I, I wanted to make it very clear that I appreciate that he didn't create this. This is, this is the result of a society that has been headed this direction for a long, long time. Stripping people of emotions, stripping people of feeling and personality of, of any individuality. Telling us essentially not to feel not to have a human experience when we're in the workplace and is it any wonder then that people snap that there are all of these shootings that there's all of all this 
depression and suicide and anxiety is it any wonder when for most people the the place that they are most of the time work they're not allowed to be themselves they're not allowed to express they're shamed for it It, it's a whole thing but we had a good conversation where we connected as human beings and I expressed that too that I I understand this word professionalism and being professional I understand that that is valued and I'm not going to argue with that I just want to express that for me personally I don't value it at all what I value is vulnerability what I value is authenticity what I value is someone communicating really radically honestly and openly with me and talking about how they feel what are you feeling? What is your personal experience in this moment? And we were able to connect with that, you know? So, I am really glad. I am really grateful to myself to have allowed anger to come through, which in the past I would have repressed, I would have shunned, I would have shamed, I would have told myself internally you're being ridiculous, this is inappropriate, this is too much, you're too much. That's what I would have told myself, you are too much. And instead, I chose to put it on display and honor myself in that way. And just honor anger, honor the experience of it. Again, it's it's not a bad thing, it's not a problem. The anger wasn't asking for anything to change. It was just there to express. It wasn't directed at anyone. It's not directed at anyone. It's a deeper sort of just passionate outburst of, look, I have a lot of clarity now around what I desire. I have intense clarity, and that intense clarity drives an intense articulation of that fresh awareness. That's all it is. And it's not asking anything to change. It's not asking anyone to be a different way. It is maybe challenging people to see, people, including myself, challenging everyone to see where is it Where is it that we're giving away our power over our own experience? And where are we asking other people to give away their power to us? Because we do it all the time, and we do it mostly without realizing. So it's just pointing that out. And because I allowed that expression, and all of that energy to move through, I was able to have a conversation from a different place, from a perspective, again, that didn't exclude any of that, but wasn't based in it. It was a calmer place of saying, you know what, I surrender, whatever the outcome is, I just understand that my intention, my desire, what I need to do for me to feel good, because I am in charge of my good feeling, nobody makes me feel good, I feel good based on my perspective and my decisions, And the decision that I made was, in order for me to feel good, I need to just represent myself clearly and honestly. I can't lie. I can't do the people-pleasing thing and apologize and bend over backwards to make other people feel better. I can't do that because that will hurt me. And if I'm doing something that's hurting me, I'm hurting everybody. Because everybody is me. If I am not behaving in a way that is of service to myself, that I am not only doing a disservice to me, I'm doing a disservice to all. So what is the only thing that I can do is be me, is represent me, is be myself authentically and accept whatever that means. Accept that that might not be accepted. Accept that that, that could end up with, with me being fired. Accept that other people may continue to feel whatever they feel about me. Whatever it is, I surrender that outcome 
and recognize that I am satisfied with being myself honestly, earnestly, authentically speaking from that place and whatever else happens isn't relevant to my well-being. It's not relevant to my joy or my peace. And I feel like I was able to do that because I let all that anger come through. So it wasn't driving my response. Again, it was there. It was there. It was a part of my awareness, just not the full focus of it. Anyway, there's still some weirdness. <laughs> And things for me now to, again, decide how I want to proceed and if I want to have another conversation with someone or if I want to recognize them coming from a place of fear and just find a way in myself to let that go. And that's, that's just what it is. And I, I am... I'm grateful for all of this. I'm grateful for the opportunity to feel and express intense emotion that I had previously repressed. Some emotion that I know also was not just mine. Not just mine. A portion of that was bigger than me. That's just what I know. What I, what I truly believe. And I'm grateful to have been able to allow that through and give that voice and space. And I'm grateful for the chance to have a real conversation with another human being. Self to self. Nothing in the way. And that's it. There doesn't need to be any other sort of outcome. I wasn't seeking a resolve because there's nothing to resolve. I just needed to express clearly. And I wanted to hear clearly what someone else's expression was. And I had that chance. So, that's it. That's it. What does the future hold? I don't know. But all is well. There is only the present moment. There is only the present moment. And that's where I want to focus now. On being here fully. Because it is so wonderful to be here. And I am so so grateful for it. I love you. Take it easy.